What's up YouTube? Welcome to your 48th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over um, instance variables with the final. Like when you have like public final or private final in um, that's where we're going to be going over. So unlike static, um, I'm going to be showing you guys what final means. So let's go ahead and in your tuna class right here, and this is the one that's not your main. Apples is, has my main method. So go into another one. I name my tuna. You can name yours whatever you want as long as it's a fish. That's key. It has to be fish or this program won't work. I'm just kidding, but you know, just a little joke. And let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to want to do is make um, a variable that's going to be private as well. But you got to spell it right. That's the key. Private. There we go. I know I'd get it eventually. Int sum. And what this is going to do is hold the sum of our numbers that we're about to add up. Now let's uh, like begin the tutorial. What we want to do now is make a variable with the type final. So private final and it's going to be an integer variable and I uh, hit button there embarrassing and let's just name it number or something and um, go ahead and put it in caps because it's going to be a constant so we know that the constants are in caps k k there you go k k that's how you can remember it so now the key or what final is is whenever you write final in front of a variable or a constant it means that you can't modify this no matter what so we just declared it whenever we set it equal to something whatever we set it equal to we can only set it equal to it once so if we put number equals two then that number is going to be two for the rest of your life you can't change it no matter what but another thing is we declared it right there but we didn't initialize it which means we didn't set it equal to anything so we're going to have to do that in our constructor so again, you can either do it right here or you're in your constructor. So let's go ahead and make a constructor. Put public tuna and just put int x. Uh, this is going to be a temporary variable. And then put number equal to x. So whatever we pass in for our argument, that's what number is going to be equal to. And again, don't mess it up because um, you can't change this. You can't later in your program write, all right, we're set it equal to 2 here, but we're going to set it equal to 15 later on, or 18, or 32. You can't. You can only set it equal to something here, and it stays like that forever. Now let's go ahead and build another method. So let's go ahead and write um, public void. Make it called add, because what's it going to do? It's going to take that sum that we have up here, and it's going to be 0 default. And let's just add the number to it. So again, the sum variable is going to change, but this number is always going to be like 10 or whatever we say it is. And now let's just build one more method so we can actually see what's going on. Public string to string. So again, you learn what to string method did last time. Whenever you need your object in a string format, it returns it. So let's go ahead and return string format. And oh, it already started filling out for us. Uh, the format just can be put something like sum is equal to percent d and then put like a new line for good looks and then for your arguments just put sum so this is going to change because it's the number that stays the same and not the sum and how do we know that because number variable is final and sum is just private sum can change so now that we got that look it over and make sure it's um, the exact same as mine we can go to our, our main class which is apples in this case so go ahead and let's create an object. So tuna, tuna, object equals new tuna, and let's go ahead and put um, something like 10. So now what this is going to do, since we passed in 10 to our constructor, it's going to take 10 for x, put 10 for x right here, and set number equal to 10. So now for this object, number equals 10, no matter what. We can't change that. So anytime Oh, uh, we use number like add number to sum. We add ten to sum. Simple enough. So now let's go ahead and well, let's go ahead and make a for loop using this object. So let's just put four and let's make a simple loop. Put like int i equals zero. Um, if i is less than five and i plus plus. So it loops five times. One, two, three, four. Yep, loops five times. 
Um, it really doesn't matter what you have inside your for loop. This isn't important. Just had to make make something real quick. Now we can go sit ahead and say, what do we want to do five times? Well, let's go ahead and add. Um, let's call this uh, method five times. So the first time it's going to be ten when it adds it. The second time it's going to add uh, another ten to it, so it's going to be twenty. Then it's going to be thirty. 40, 50. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and add tuna object and how you use it is add right there. So now we did our method um, five times but we can't really see anything because this method right here it doesn't return anything so we need to return it right here. So let's go, go ahead and put system out. Let's go ahead and let's do a print format and let's just go ahead for the format we'll put something like we'll just keep a simple percent s and for the arguments let's just go ahead and put tuna object so let me go ahead and run through this and show you guys the results sum equals 10 sum equals 20 30 40 50 so now let me talk to you guys one last time why this happened make sure hopefully i'm in my screen recorder and eh, good enough so what we did is we made two variables well let's just go ahead and do it this way we made an object called new tuna or tuna object was the name of our object and we passed it the parameters 10 for the constructor so it took that 10 and set number equal to 10 alright simple enough what's next well we looped through this five times so what did we do five times we did this add method five times so first for add it took that number 10 and added it to sum so now sum was equal to 10 then it just spit out 10 and then the next time on round number two it took that 10 and added it to 10 then we got 20 so now it spit it out 20 then it took 10 and added it to 20 which was 30 then it added it to 30 which was 40 then it added it to 40 which was 50 ah uh, so now that that's all done so that is pretty much um, your really detailed tutorial on a really simple explanation that whenever you make a final variable you cannot change it so for example if we say down here um, tuna object dot number um, equals 15 look at this right here we get an X right here the field tuna number is not visible that means that it can't change pretty much so that's pretty much all in all I could have skipped this whole tutorial and said alright when you write final instead of a variable it means you can't change it but I didn't I decided to give you guys the whole spiel instead so thank you guys for watching and hey if anyone wants to do fantasy football with me um, leave a comment and let me know because I want to do fantasy football with someone so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time